hammer to it with real builders. You know they can do it with real builders. Saw it up, nail it up, roof it up and build it up, floor it up, tile it up with real builders. Here we are on this beautiful fall day in Syracuse, New York, and we're visiting my grandmother. She says she needs new replacement windows, and that's right up our alley. Let's go find her. It's amazing. My grandmother's 104 years old. I know she's going to be very excited about this project. And knowing her, even though she's 104, she'll help us out as much as she can. Oh, there you are, Grandma. Hi. How are you? You good. How you been? I'm good. You said you wanted new windows. Uh, how about, uh, could you get me a, a hearing aid? A hearing aid? I don't know if this window company might have a, uh, uh, buy 15 I mean, windows. A, a, a miracle ear. A, a, how much do they want for their ears? You know? Oh, I have no idea. Is that what you want instead of the windows? Call them up and find out. <laughs> instead of the windows, you want a hearing aid? Yeah, I want a hearing aid too. Oh, uh, windows and a hearing aid. Well, yeah. we'll get to that. Uh, it's better sometimes not to hear what people say anyhow, you know. You yeah. know that. <laughs> uh, what about this door here? It don't work very good. No? Uh, we'll get you one that slides really nice. Uh, we'll take that old one out uh -huh. and I'll take some measurements. Ew. No, oh, this. What about this? This thing's hard to push. Whoa! Okay, we're gonna go upstairs now. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. Oh my! <laughs> Well, we'll get you a new window, Grandma. <laughs> well, that was pretty loose in there. That wasn't even nailed in there at all. Look at all that mold, uh, that glass. I'll clean it up. You're supposed to keep this clean. I know, I will. I am cleaning it up right now, Grandma. How's that, Grandma? It's still a lot of it. Uh. Get every little bit there, some down there. Where? Where do you see something? There's at? more on it. Where? All over. There, there no, there, 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 there. Okay, how's that? That's better. What year were you born? 1900. I take care of myself. Mm-hmm. You got the same noise as windows. You got to take care of them. The wig is uh, up too high. What do you say? <laughs> well, I don't oh. know. I don't think she's been into the sauce. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. Well, Grandma, let's go take a look at this window here. You know I mean this? It's all in one. This is all in one. It's going to go right oh. in there. Isn't it beautiful? Look, it's got the wood grain look here, and it's got two operating panels on each uh, left and right. It's all double pane. And Don's got it all finished, so don't get any scratches on yeah, it. Yeah, I won't. I'll put it in right. You know I'll put it in right. Yeah. The bow window is going to go here. It has two fixed panels and two operating panels. The operating panels are called casement windows. In the master bedroom, we're going to have a double casement window. It also has two operating panels. This window here, here, the kitchen window, and also the garage window will be all sliders. They'll have a half screen as well. The two bathroom windows will be awning windows. You'll be able to crank them open 
and they'll have a full screen that's inserted on the inside. These windows will be double hung windows. They'll slide up and down and tilt in and out for easy cleaning and they'll also have a half screen. We are going to replace this 8 foot sliding glass door with an all vinyl sliding glass door and this 15 light man door will take place of the existing window. We are going to start with the bow window. I start by removing all the interior trim and then the exterior trim along with cutting all the fasteners the window comes out with ease. The new bow window cannot sit as low as the rough opening so I need to build an 18 inch knee wall to bring it up to the right height. First we cut a 2x4 bottom plate and then a 2x4 top plate along with 15 inch studs toe screwed 16 inches on center. The drywall will be installed on the inside to flush up the existing walls and insulation will go in between each cavity and to cap it all off we're using this 3 quarter inch insel board. These special overhead hangers were provided by the window company. The bow window is very top heavy and the anchors help hold it still. Blanket insulation is added in all the open spaces around the window and where the window is tight, caulking is used. We nailed on these batten strips to match the profile of the existing siding. Then I quickly installed the cedar shingle. I was also able to use the matching shingles up and around the top. I like the uh, little plane you got on the edge. Uh huh. Like. Yeah. Plain stuff like that looks better. Uh huh. It shows good quality. Do they have a lifetime warranty? Yeah, Grandma, they do. They're lifetime warranty on all the windows, on all the mechanical parts, and uh -huh. and it's also transferable. Uh -huh. So when you sell the you house, you want to or change any of them, you can. Yeah. Okay, and lift. To put that in the back of Grandma's car. Grandma, all this is all rotted. This is going to cost extra money. What? <laughs> yeah, I bet you didn't hear that. Now that the frame is ripped out and all the rotted wood is removed, we can now replace it with new. I'm going to need to flush up the sill plate. I'm going to rip this 2 by 10 treated board to size and then make this special notch with the circular saw to make it fit just right. Adding this framing to the side of the jam will make my rough opening just the right size. Caulking under the door is a must. It goes on very nicely inside this caulking groove. The brick mold is nailed on and the bottom kickboard is screwed into place. And finally, the touch-up and painting is starting to make this door blend right in. There are two different ways to replace a window. 
One is to rip the entire window and frame out, or second is to just to remove the sashes and replace the window to the existing old frame. Grandma chose to have them all ripped out and replaced with a rough opening. It's a much better job to use these nail fins. It makes the window more secure without any movement. The reason why I'm putting these two by fours on is because the uh, casing uh, was notched out around the cabinet, so I want to bring the window in shorter so I get a full piece of casing around the whole window. Since we removed the old brick molding, we have to replace it. So I chose this 100% vinyl brick molding, which will never have to be painted. It's going to cover this void where the nail flange is on the sides and along the top and bottom. Now it's time to do all the caulking on the exterior. Where the vinyl brick molding meets the vinyl window, I'm going to use a 100% pure silicone caulking. I'm using a latex caulking to fill the edges from the brick molding to the siding. And last is to blend the window to the cedar siding with the matching paint. What is it? Oh my. What? All right. Look so far, but they're going to be double. Yes, they are. Double. I know how they. I know how they look because I've seen them on, uh -huh. uh, on TV. Okay. Yeah. Hello. 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 Top of the morning to you. The rest of the windows are different styles and sizes, but we'll go in with the same procedure as the kitchen window. All the back bedrooms will receive these double hung windows. The main bathroom and the master bathroom will get awning windows. The master bedroom is also going to receive a 29 by 69 two light slotting window. And working late into the night, we're able to complete this double casement window that goes into the master bedroom. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. We are going to replace this window with this new 15 light man door. The window comes out very easy and all the rotted wood is disposed of. I need to flush up the sill, so I'm going to add a new treated plate. The door rough opening measures bigger than the opening that we need, so I have to add to the side of the existing jam. This will make the door fit in with just a half inch to three quarter of an inch play. To fill in this small space, I'm using half inch drywall. This should make the wall flush to the existing. I'm also using tape and joint compound to blend the joint in. Make sure you wipe off any excess. The door is shimmed and screwed into place, making sure it's plumb level and square. If something is plumb and level, it's going to be square. We're near completion. We're going to install the doorknob, finish all the caulking and painting to make this door look like it's meant to be. Now that the exterior of all the windows and doors are complete, 
We can come inside and start all the trim work. Grandma, can you help me? Here, Grandma, take that end. Just hold that end. Okay, put it over there where it goes. Here, Grandma, take the gun. You got it. Oh. Take the, pull the trigger there. There? Yep, pull it. There you go. All right, is that the first time you ever shot a nail gun? <laughs> See, anybody could do it. <laughs> some glue on the end of that. Okay, put it right down there. Nice job, all right, ease up, release. Okay, we like to have a lot of glue on there for the corners so they don't come apart and it makes a nice miter. Do I have to pay you for helping? No. What, there? I'm gonna film right here, Grandma. Okay. You wanna do the last one? Almost. I don't know. Okay, that's good. You got it started. There you go. That's better. I am measuring all the windows for the two and three quarter inch oak extension jams and the two and a half inch colonial oak casing. I'm going to prefabricate these together for the easiest installation. All the extension jams are all cut to length and ready to nail together here and here. There's four to each window. We are nailing the box together on the ends with 15 gauge, 2 inch finish nails. Great, that's the last frame and I'm ready to start the casing. I'm going to measure my casing from the interior measurement of the jam and I'm going to add a half inch to it. That'll give me a quarter inch reveal all the way around. I am using the small brad nailer with 18 gauge inch and a quarter nails. You want to position the nail gun at a slight angle so the wood doesn't split. Grandma, these windows also deaden the sound. What? If my measurements don't fail me, this should fit right in place. Great. I am going to use the large nail gun again with 2 inch 15 gauge nails. I set my even reveals and fasten. All the other jams fit in perfect. Now I'm ready to fill all the nail holes and imperfections with putty. I'm going to lightly sand it to get it ready for the finish. No one likes puttying, but it has to be done. The putty we use is in a latex form 
and the excess is easily wiped off with a damp rag. We're using a semi-gloss polyurethane on all the jams and casing I installed. This will match the color of the pre-finished windows. It's very satisfying to see this window job come together with the finishing touches of the beautiful oak woodwork. The window job is finally complete. I know this window job will make grandma very happy. The casement window works very well and all the other cranks, locks and levers operate with little effort. Yeah, that's nice. Kitchen window sashes slide back and forth very easily, and they're also removable. The double hung slide up and down, and they also tilt in and out for easy cleaning. The awning windows have a very smooth operating crank, and the two levers bring it tight to the seal strip. The double casement window also operates effortlessly. Is there a screen in there too? Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. That's wonderful. So that's a big difference uh, from that other window to this window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a horrid looking thing. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a really something. They're easy, easy sliding. The wind blows out here terrible. It really closes real easy. Is that easy closing? Oh, yeah. Is that a lot easier than the other one? Uh huh. The sliding glass door has a heavy duty handle, and for security, there's three locking points. The screen is also very durable along with the locking mechanism. The man door has a continuous one piece steel wrap construction. It also has this lock set and deadbolt. One last gift I got you. What'd you want? Hearing aid? Hearing aid, yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's all it is. Just those two little buttons and you can you're gonna be able to hear. Uh-huh. So how do I put them in? Let me put them in. You get them in just right this thin. Uh-huh. Well they pop right in there, Grandma. They hold right in there. Uh-huh. Can you hear real good now? Yeah, I can hear you good. Oh, yeah. No more huhs and what's and uh -huh. <laughs> what'd you say? What? I can't hear you. What? What's that? What? What? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, did you know the oldest man in the world is 113 years old? Oh, well, you know? I'll outlive him. <laughs> <laughs> You'll outlive him. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. Ask me if there's a lifetime warranty Let on these. Let me go around and call right. it isn't right. raining. All right. Well, ask ask me. Uh, do these windows have a lifetime warranty? I can't hear you. Ask me if these windows uh, have a lifetime warranty. Yeah. Ask me. Ask me that. Say, do these windows have a lifetime warranty? Yeah. That's what you have to say. Yeah. So say it. Yeah. No. Say, <laughs> ask oh, you me. you want me to say it now? Yeah. Do, do they have a lifetime warranty? 
So yeah. is there a lifetime warranty? Yeah. Well, let's go on there. No, no, no. Well, we to got eat. to I was eating my lunch when you came. All right, well, to ask me if they have a lifetime warranty. Uh-huh. Ask me again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There'd be something wrong with him, man. I'm telling you. How old are you? 400. <laughs> You're not 400. No. Well, I don't want to go down to that. Mm. I can see from the road. Oh, don't do that. You want new replacement windows? <laughs> replacement windows? Yeah. Yeah, they're nice. No, we didn't put them in yet. Oh, yeah. No, not yet. But you gotta put them in. Yeah, we're gonna put them in in about a week, but uh, you have to show me what you want. What? You have to show me what you want. I don't know what I want. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd get a hearing aid for about $50. Uh, $50. $50. We'll get you one tomorrow. Now, how am I gonna <laughs> sell that window? You broke it. You can't sell that window. I can't? Not no. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are just fit the house, but that door down there looks so out of place. What door? Kitchen door. The kitchen door? You don't like the door? You didn't no, even see I it? No, I don't like the door. It's too heavy a door for the, this house. No. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, well, it is. You don't like the door? No, I do not. You didn't even see it? I didn't even put it in yet. What? I didn't even put the door in yet. Yeah, well, you held it up uh, last night, and I didn't, I didn't like it. <laughs> okay, we'll figure it out.